You are probably wondering how we ended up in this situation. You see, to understand why all of this has happened, we need to go back to where it all began. All the way back to happier and brighter days. Did you hear? Another one's gone, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. This time it was one of them folks down in the waterfall. Some fellow leaving behind a wife and six children. Asgore put the word out. Anyone see the guy, they walk him right back to his own doorstep. His little wife's gonna do the rest. Was that the first disappearance in Waterfall? Nah, it wasn't. There was that kid. One selling the umbrellas to anyone passing by the rainy area. Three weeks it's been by now and they're still searching for him. Gone? Just like that? Never came home. I'm telling you, this isn't just some youngsters running off to have a little fun and freedom. This is serious, folks. Something's happened, something big and we don't understand. And instead of explaining it to us, Asgore just sits there and tells people not to give up hope. And look after each other and all that good stuff. Scary is what it is, I'm telling ya! I heard last week there was another one disappearing from Outland. Some girl having trouble with her parents. I heard the mother keeps telling everyone that the daughter's been acting weird lately. You know, locking yourself in a room, being kind of quiet, staring off in the space. It's not weird. That's just the first case of claustrophobia kicking in. When they finally realize that we are trapped in this lightless, lifeless prehistoric cave without any kind of hope to ever breathe fresh air, or feel the sun on our skin, or see the birds up in the sky. And now we are burning here, and living here, and dying here. And none of the humans out there on the surface even remember that we exist! Yeah, he, uh, he didn't look so good, did he? Hmm. Or his girlfriend left him a little while ago. Man, poor guy. She was such a sweetheart, too. Really didn't take it well. He'd been looking horrible lately. Walking around like a corpse brought back by from the grave. Ah, <sighs> sad to see a guy like him get so down. He really didn't deserve this. Did you hear? Another one disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, the folk from Utland. We already know. No, no, not that one. I'm talking about that construction worker from the core. The one that got fired last week for sleeping on the job. A friend of his went to see if he was doing okay, but no one was home and the she's hadn't been slept in for days. No one knew where he'd gone. No one saw him. And now they're searching the grounds to see if he threw himself into the core or something, from what I gathered. Uh, always the loners that happens to. Ain't it? Something weird is happening. What do you mean, weird? Do you remember the genocide run? <laughs> How could I forget that? No, I mean... Do you remember the feeling of it? That terror, that hopelessness? Do you remember what it felt like to watch the world grow dark? To see it turn empty and devoid of all life? The way it suffocated you? Sags. Do you still know how it pulled at your soul? Yes. It's happening again. What do you mean it's happening again? I mean that this feeling, the one that means genocide run, is back! It's much slower, but it's there. So that means... that that can only mean one thing, right? It means that she's back. But how? How, Gaster? Didn't I kill her? You did. You killed the body. But the mind... The mind is still there. Just like I am. Just like you are. Her mind is still there. What can we do? Nothing. <sighs> the way we are now, trapped in the void. We can do nothing. In our current forms, we are useless. So what do we do? <laughs> 
try to get out. Right now, the only ways for us to connect to the world beyond is the room behind the Grey Door and your Grey Post Station. Well, we can't leave through these places. They don't operate as exits. The only way for us to leave the Void would be if we found a way to use my powers to open a portal that leads outside. We cannot risk that. Your body is too frail, and creating a portal would require almost, if not all, of your power. We could still do it. And it would kill you! You would shatter and leave me to pick up the pieces. The last time it happened, I managed to salvage what was left of you at the last second. This time, nothing could save you! Then what do we do? Sit back and wait for her to take over? The push station- Don't function like exits. You are correct, they don't. However, they do function as entries. You mean? Yes. But you said she doesn't remember. She will, in due time. How? We will transfer some of your soul power to her in order to open her eye. And you think she will come? She will, if we call her. Why do I have the feeling this will end badly? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Undyne. You've been training all night for this concert. You didn't have any sleep. I, the Great Papyrus, suggest that you should get some sleep! <laughs> it's okay, Papyrus. I'm fine. Besides, there is no time to sleep. The concert is tonight. Look, sister, I know you're nervous. After all, the king and the head of the royal guard will be there. You should be proud, Undyne. You'll manage to get them all to hear your amazing melodies. You're going to be popular, popular, popular! But, Papyrus, I... And you are still worried. Don't forget that I, the Great Papyrus, will be there to support you and give you encouragement. <laughs> of course I didn't forget, you Skeletor. Please don't look at the skeleton! Oh, hey, Alphys. Good to see you. What brings you all the way out here from Hotland? Uh, uh, well, I, I, um, kind of have a, a g gift for you. Ooh, a gift. That's so cool. Do you have it here? Can Undyne open it immediately? Or does she have to wait? Can I see it? <laughs> Calm down, Paps. The gift's not going anywhere. Or is it? Uh, no, it isn't. I don't actually um, have it here, though, so if you don't mind, I thought maybe we could go on a little walk, a and on the way back, we could stop by my place, and I'll get the gift for you so you can open it. <laughs> sure, sounds fun. Just wait a moment, I'll get my jacket, and then we can get going, okay? All ready to go! Good. Let's get on our way then. Well, I better get ready as well. After all, I wouldn't want to miss my favorite sister showing off her amazing musical talent to the entire underground. <laughs> shouldn't stick around. Let's keep walking. Aw, are you scared of some abandoned old house? Come on, let's take a look inside. Uh, Undyne, please, I really think we should leave. Th this place is scary, and it looks unsafe, and- Well, you can stay out here and wait if you're so scared. I just have a really, really bad feeling about this place, Undyne. Why is it here all of a sudden? Who put it here? Well, I'll just have to find out, won't I? Uh, Undyne, please be careful! Hello? Hello? Anyone there?
are you? Don't you remember me? Huh. That's such a shame. And I was so looking forward to our little reunion. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. What the hell do you want? <laughs> oh, don't worry, my dear. We don't intend to hurt you. We? In fact, we don't want anything from you. Quite the opposite, really. We intend to give you something. A gift of sorts. I'm sure you'll find it rather useful in the trials that will beset you. Stay back! I mean it! Or else I'm going to hurt you! <laughs> oh, if you say so. Now, science. Let's put an end to this silly little affair, shall we? It's about to explode. Uh, d does your eye still hurt? No, it doesn't actually. <laughs> I, I almost I didn't get to give you your gift, too. I, I thought you might want to wear something. Something special for the performance tonight. You know, b because it's such an important event for you. And everybody else, too. I... I hope you like it. Alphys! That's so... These are seriously awesome! Undyne! You're alright! I was so worried about you! Oh. Hey, Papyrus. Are you feeling alright? Yes, Paps. I'm fine now. Oh no! I'm going to be late for the concert! I, I need to get going! It's okay, sister. You still have enough time to get to the concert hall. You can just take the ferry, and you'll be there in no time at all! Hey, Undyne! Go look for the performance! Yeah, thanks. Darling, there you are. If we're getting worthy, we can make it in time. Come on, come on, it's almost time. Here we are, darling. Now go out there and then- Wait! I can't- We need to wait for Paps and Elphys! Papyrus! The monster! 
monster grabbed him and they went that way. Listen, Elvis. I really don't want to leave you here. But I need to find Papyrus. I need to make sure he's okay. Uh, I understand. It's okay. I I'll be fine. Thank you. Please be safe. Better 
take care of this one before he wakes up, boys. As for you, little missy, I think we all have a lot to thank you for. Uh, without you, we might never have caught the one who was behind the recent disappearances. <laughs> what do you say, Bobby Buns? Hmm. Quite so, Gus. You've been very brave today, and have done the Underground a great service. For that, you have my thanks. And that, my subjects, too. <laughs>